Hey everybody, it's Ryan here, head instructor at Paddler Co-op, and we're here to talk a little bit about some strokes in whitewater. So there's two strokes that we teach at Paddler Co-op in our introductory courses that are kind of the foundation of basically everything that we need to do at a beginner level in moving water. So I'm going to introduce those strokes right now. The first stroke is to help us spin around, or more likely to help us stop spinning. These whitewater boats are designed to spin, and you'll find most likely that as soon as you hop into one, it's really easy to get it spinning. So the first stroke I like to teach is called the sweep stroke, which helps us to spin or not spin the boat. The three main components of the sweep stroke is firstly that all of the power comes from the rotation of our upper body. We're using our torso rotation. So for starters, I like just holding my paddle out in front, rotating to one side, and then rotating to the other side to really get a feel for like ooh, pulling your upper body one way and then the other. Then the next component of the stroke is where we're going to actually catch the water. So we're starting at our toes, we're winding up with that torso rotation, catching the water at our toes, and then we're unwinding in a wide arc all the way to the stern of the boat. So that power phase is kind of like the third component of the stroke. We're winding up, catching the water at our toes, and then pulling through by actually just unwinding our torso. We can try that a couple times. One stroke should basically get you spinning 180 degrees around. The reason we want to use that stroke is because it incorporates all of our upper body strong muscles. We don't want to be using our arms. They're going to get really tired if we're just doing this all the time. And it allows us to have that full range of motion outside of our boat to be able to most effectively spin the boat. So the sweep stroke works on either side, starting at your toes, reaching out, and then back to the stern of the boat. And what's important to remember is that it's not just starting at your toes and pulling along the length of your boat. You're actually extending your arm out a little ways. So again, if we're to break it down into three steps, the first step is winding up with your torso, second step is catching the water, and then the third step would be unwinding your torso for the power phase. If you're having a hard time with your sweep stroke, some things you might consider are making sure that that bottom arm that you're paddling with stays locked. If you're bending it, it probably means that you're not getting as much power translated from your blade to the boat. As well, making sure that you're sweeping wide away from the boat so that there's a nice gap. You'll notice the gap here between my paddle and my boat. That gap ensures that I'm gonna be spinning. And then finally, to follow through fully. Sometimes it might help to actually look at your blade. So making sure that you're bringing that blade all the way to the stern of the boat so that you're maximizing the amount of rotation that you can get on your paddle. A good sweep stroke should be able to spin you around no problem, going left, going right. You can also do it backwards, but generally speaking in white water when we're starting, we want to generate forwards momentum. So that forward sweep is going to be the most effective at keeping you on your line and correcting those turns. If you want to learn more about white water, you can visit our website, paddlercoop.ca or book a course, sign up for an introductory course at Palmer Rapids at our base, and we'd be happy to show you the rest of the way. Thanks for watching.